I grab my iPhone. Thank the Lord I have not lost it again. To Yelp, breakfast sandwich delivery. I see I have three missed calls and voicemails from my therapist. The therapist, who seemed to be the only doctor on the Isle of Manhattan and possibly on planet Earth willing to take my insurance. Why would she be calling me on a Saturday night? Soup's weird. I listen to the messages. Message one. Hi, Tara, it's Dr. Goldstein. I haven't heard back from you, so I'm recommending you go to the hospital, okay? Are you listening to me? There is no shame in that. You need to be around people right now. Nothing matters except for your safety, okay? Please call me when you get this. What? What an extreme message. Why would Dr. Goldstein leave something so creepy and ominous? Why would I go to the hospital? Message deleted. Message two. Tara, it's me again, Dr. Goldstein trying to reach you. Listen, I'm going to bed soon, but I need you to call me, okay? I'm concerned. Really, really concerned. Are you alone? Do you have friends you can be with? Please call me as soon as you get this. Okay, what the actual fuck? Why was she trying to reach me last night? Think, Tara, think. Message deleted. Message three. Hi, Tara. It's Dr. Goldstein. I got your message, and through the tears, I could hear how much pain you're in. I'm so sorry you're feeling this way on your birthday. I'm really worried about you. You said you feel unbearably sad and that you hate yourself. You said there is nothing left to hope for, and you don't see a way out. But Tara, I just have to say, there is so much to live for. There is a healthy part of you. That part of you called me and reached out. The healthy part wants to survive and shine. Are you thinking of hurting yourself? That's what's really concerning me. I've just never heard you this desperate. Please don't do anything rash. I promise you will get through this. Call me back as soon as you get this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I drunk dialed my therapist. I drunk dialed my therapist and apparently wanted to hurt myself. And she, a woman who is permacom, who I have never seen without a cup of tea and a placid smile, was so disturbed that she thought I should check myself into a hospital. What have I done? The memories of the past night come flooding in like a tall wave I can't swim over. Here I am at my birthday dinner with my BFF drinking an unknown number of dirty martinis. Here she is, ditching me early. Here I am dancing alone in a museum, feeling sorry for myself. Here is a security guard telling me, the party is over, miss, before escorting me out. Here I am feeling super pathetic. Here is a blur, and I don't know how I got home exactly. Here I am taking drunk, sad selfies, posing in front of my bathroom mirror. Here I am in said bathroom, alternating between crying and vomiting over the toilet. I feel a shame that sparks in my belly, creeps up my chest, and sets my heart on fire with hate. I hate myself. I hate the things I do. I hate my body. I hate this double life of being good at work and bad at life. I've always been dogged about getting ahead in school and in my job, so it's always looked like everything is okay. But things are decidedly not okay. I'm humiliated that I'm the type of person who is so out of control that she drunk dials her therapist. I'm exhausted in my guts. I'm worn down from the hate and the drinking and the smoking and the crying and the just living from one crisis to the next crisis, and I am so tired, so ashamed, so desperate. This is a life I can no longer live. This is a life that will kill me.